Okay, if you are watching this video, chances are you're either a fan of Amphibia or someone who is interested in watching this show. I know I am a big fan of Amphibia, obviously. That said, we can also agree that the show is not perfect. We all have our criticisms of the show, I do too, and we will get them to another time. However, for this video, I want to discuss one of the most common criticisms of Amphibia, which is its filler episodes. Now to be clear, not all episodes of Amphibia are amazing. The show had swings and misses from time to time, but what gets this criticism under my skin is just how widespread and misleading it is. So for today, I want to set the record straight and defend these filler episodes and explain why people should not skip any episodes and watch the entire series all the way through. First, let's get the elephant out of the room. Calling these episodes filler is just painfully misleading. Saying something is filler implies they don't provide anything important to the show's overarching story. The truth is, every episode of the show, from True Colors to Cracking Mrs. Croker, does contribute to the overarching story in some way. It may not always drive the plot forward, but every episode has at least contributed to character development. Matt Brawley himself even says he doesn't like filler, so why would he put filler content in the show itself? So the criticism of Amphibia having filler already falls flat in just the premise. But that's not the main criticism I want to address. The main criticism I hear often with these character-driven episodes, especially when it comes to season 1, is that you could skip many episodes in the show and still understand the show overall. I hear this criticism a lot, especially from my real-life friends. To be fair, they're not wrong to say you can still understand the show without watching most of these non-plot related episodes. However, skipping episodes sort of defeats the point of watching the show in the first place. Why do I say this? Well, understanding the story is one thing, and it is important for a story writer to make their story easy to understand and follow. In the case of Amphibia, it's true that you don't have to see Anne and Sprig go through the same shenanigans over and over again in multiple episodes in order to understand how she was able to find Sasha and Marcy, find a way home, and save their worlds. However, what's arguably more important than understanding how a story goes is why a story is important for someone to follow. This is where the non-plot related episodes come into play. These episodes where the plot doesn't really move forward as much allow the viewers to develop some sort of bond with the characters. Seeing the characters go about daily life in a way that's somewhat casual, at least in comparison to the plot heavy episodes, allows viewers to relate to the characters more on a personal level. By doing so, the audience grows to care about these characters, and that's key. I mean, what's the point of understanding how a story goes if you don't care about the characters themselves? Now, some may say that Amphibia did not need as many character development episodes as it does. Some episodes may seem redundant, but in reality, they're not. Let's take the episode Sprig's birthday, for example. Some people I've talked to said this episode was not necessary because there weren't any major plot points, and the episode followed the same basic premise and story structure as most Anne and Sprig episodes like Best Franz, Crokin Punishment, and other season 1 episodes. Certain expectations slash rules were put in place for Anne and Sprig, and decides to ignore those rules and manipulate Sprig into breaking them as well. They have some fun initially, their plan backfires, and Anne and Sprig have to solve their problems together and reconcile with each other. Now on paper, it does not make sense to have Anne and Sprig learn the same type of lesson again and again. However, repeating the same mistake again and again is a realistic thing to include for episodic storytelling. Whenever real people make a mistake, they are likely to make the same mistake again. People don't normally just learn from the mistakes and never repeat them, especially if one's motivations behind making those mistakes are different each time. What do I mean by this? In every Anne and Sprig episode, while the plot structure of each episode is the same, the motivations behind the characters' actions are different each time. In Best Friends, Anne's motivation for breaking Hop Pop's rules and convincing Sprig to do the same were purely for her own self-interest in trying to have fun swimming at a lake. However, in later episodes, Anne's motivations to make the same mistake became less due to her selfishness and more due to her desire to actually help out Sprig. By the time we get to Sprig's birthday, Anne's motivation for her recklessness was almost purely to give Sprig the best birthday experience of his life. Sure, there are still some selfish motives from Anne to help Sprig at this point, but after Sprig's birthday, Anne's motivations for most of her actions are selfless, which of course led her to the end of her story, where she went from a self-centered character to a character who was willing to sacrifice herself to save the world she grew to love. The truth is, we would not have seen Anne's growth if it weren't for these filler episodes. These non-plot related episodes are indeed very important to watch if you want to enjoy Amphibia as much as possible. 
these episodes allowed the audience to connect and relate to the characters. As a result, we grow to care about them, and since we care about them, their story matters to us. But why should a story matter? Well, it's similar to why we learn about folktales as kids or learn about history in school. Stories help us learn and grow as people. Caring about a story means you acknowledge and think about the moral of the story. By believing a story matters, you can learn something important from it. You can change your life for the better. So what's the conclusion? By watching Amphibia all the way through, the show can change your life for the better just like what it did for so many fans out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like what I have to say, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Maybe even check out my Patreon or Ko-fi page. Link to both will be in the description. It really does go a long way so I hope you really consider it. I have many more videos to come and I hope you come back to see it. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.